Hi, it's Morgan Rice here in Squamish, BC. I just attended the British Columbia Real Estate Association Economic Outlook for 2010. It was a great event, very good lunch put on by um, the uh, Real Estate Association, by the way. And um, some of the things that came out of that were some of the things that I felt in my gut but now have been backed up by um, the Real Estate Association's economist, Brian Yu, who um, basically told us that we're not going to see a lot of changes happening in the real estate market for Squamish in the next couple of quarters. It's going to stay sort of a balanced market, which is where we're at right now. Prices aren't going to increase until we switch over to a seller's market, uh, which we haven't seen for basically a year in Squamish, so it's going to continue the way it is. And um, basically what we can look for in the sort of medium term future over the next few quarters is that uh, we had a bit of a, an overbuild in Squamish. The construction that happened in sort of uh, 05, 06, 07 uh, is still on the market. So a lot of properties or construction projects that happened during that period are still for sale and are... Um, sort of contributing to the oversupply of real estate in the Squamish area. So um, we're not going to see a lot of new starts happen in Squamish over the next short period. We will see some, uh, but not a lot. And that's the, the contributing factor to our, our real estate market is the new starts. And um, basically until we can see that market shift to a seller's market we're not going to see the prices go anywhere so they're going to stay the same uh, meanwhile there's some factors such as uh, uh, the interest rates which for the short short term are going to stay the same but over the long term there's some new qualifications that are coming out making it more difficult to get financing uh, which is going to have a negative impact on people's uh, purchasing power for real estate. Also there's the HST coming into effect which is going to um, more effect uh, it well it is going to affect new homes only and so anything to do with resale older homes it doesn't affect you at all except for uh, you know closing costs and things like that basically anything that used to used to have to pay um, only the GST now you have to pay the HST which is a higher tax so it's going to affect people's sort of um, net income in general other than that though um, uh, things look good for the future. People, uh, the economy is looking better and things are on the upswing, although it's going to take a bit of time to get there. That's it for today. You can always get to me at morganrice.com.